um, you know, that's just the way I, I love what I do. And, you know, if, if jewelry making or engraving is something that you, you know, are, are into and, you know, you're not at quite the level that you want to be at, just go, go for it. You know, you got to keep working and, and keep doing it. Get a, get the right tools, you know, is first of all, which the post graver, I'll just throw another thing out there. I love the post graver. You don't have one, get one. It's awesome. Um, oh, that was the other thing I, I did want to say. The post graver is amazing for stone setting. Um, I love it. You know, the uh, first stone that I set with the post graver, I probably should have done something else, but it was, but I didn't. I set a 50 carat marquee shaped blue, blue topaz with it. And I was like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to replace this one so easily, but I just did it anyway. And it, it was awesome. I mean, it, I was like, wow, this thing just works spectacularly for stone setting for the bezel setting um, because it just is so powerful and it can just move that metal over. So, um, Wow, no think, pressure. Yeah, no, no pressure at all. So, and I haven't, you know, I've been using it, uh, what, about a year now, I guess. Yeah. Pretty close, yeah. So close, almost close to a year. I haven't, I haven't broken the stone yet. So, um, of course, I didn't really break stones before then either, but, you know, <laughs> um, it, I, once again, I can't say enough positive things about it with the stone setting. It, it really works great. And for all you other jewelers out there who maybe have the pulse graver or don't have it, whatever, I just thought I'd throw this little kind of advice out there for it. So when I do the stone setting, I put it in the um, C, um, whatever category or setting, the C setting. So I do that. I bump up the power all the way to the top and then I turn the speed all the way down to 15 as low as it will go. So when you do that and then you can work your pedal and you can pretty much just guarantee because you've slowed it all the way down, you can pretty much guarantee that it, that you just do one hit. So you're never really going to need with that much power. You don't need it to be going, you know, the, the 40, the, the, the speed of 40. You can just slow that thing down and it will, you'll just see it, you know, and I do all my stone setting under the scope as well. So you'll just see that metal just, you know, moving over, you move it, move it. And the cleanup is a breeze afterward. Like it just really works phenomenal. And you can, like I said, just really move heavy metal. Cause what I, the way I make stuff, I typically do very heavy bezels and, there's a lot of metal that's moving around. And so just stylistically for what I do, it has been amazing. So anyways, I'll stop doing a commercial for you. <laughs> well, I'm glad it's working so well for you. I, yeah, I'm really glad. I, I, I mean, there are things that I have that have made, you know, what I do a whole lot easier because of, the pole scraper, which, you know, I would just be struggling with other stuff. And, and, you know, I've actually used in the past, like a regular, like whatever, two pound ball peen hammer and just with a, with the, um, like a, a steel, I'm drawing like a, a blank here. Punch. Yes. Like punch? Uh, thank you. <laughs> and just whacking the crap out of stuff, trying to get these heavy, you know, prongs down or heavy bezels down, you know, over top of stuff because they are so big and so heavy. So it, it, it is pretty awesome in that regard of just being able to get the stuff done. And with, as you saw, you know, I do a lot of that, that really wide bright cutting. So, you know, when you're removing that much metal, it takes a lot of power to, to actually do it. And so it's just been helpful and able to, be more efficient instead of like going in and cutting a thin layer and cutting a thin layer and cutting a thin layer, trying to get all that bright cutting that I want done this big area cut. I can just go in with, you know, one big 
thick cut and you'd be shocked at the the thickness of the um uh what are those little things called i forgot they're the, the, the chips yes the chips <laughs> the technical term of chips get you know like i mean they're humongous you know when i'm doing this stuff so i'm um, like with that snake bracelet like they were humongous chips you know that i'm just cutting away with that so um that's oh, all good. i got so good, good. now if there are hundreds of customers that want to come and see you. How would they get in touch with you or your shop, your Instagram, your Facebook? Give us all the, all the ways to get in touch with you. Okay. My, my website is jacobraymondjewelry.com. Uh, my um, Facebook page is Jacob Raymond Custom Jewelry. But, you know, if you just do Jacob Raymond Jewelry, it should pop up. But my, my Instagram is Jacob Raymond Jewelry as well. Um, and then, um, of course, my email is the same, Jacob Raymond Jewelry at gmail.com. So, um, and I'm always open for doing unique and one-of-a-kind stuff. So, and I'm always willing to help other people. So, you know, if you like, hey, you know, you have a question of, of – Something that you said today, you know, contact me. I'm more than willing to, you know, give anybody any type of advice or answer any questions. Very cool. And hopefully we will see each other again at, a, at an engraving in the future. <laughs> yes, hope, hopefully we'll get through all this and be able to see people again, <laughs> right. be able to travel. So. Okay. And um, to get in touch with me, uh, it's tira at engraver.com. Um, Instagram is Tira, well, at yeah, at Pulse Graver or Tira.Mitchell. I have a Instagram for that as well. And Facebook is Engraver.com. Okay. I think I got them all. Well, thank you, Jake. And I hope you well, have a wonderful you. week. Well, you and too. And I think we hit it right on the dot. I think it's three o'clock. So great timing. All right. Well, thank you for letting us in to see your world. I appreciate it. All right. It. Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.